Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer Interventions reality update video, episode 42, Life, the Universe, and Everything. And yeah, it's been one more day since last episode. I can gain 226 reality machines. So I thought I was maybe getting like 180 or something. Nope, I'm getting 226. I, I could have even like, you know, I have these upgrades available, and I don't want to get it because I want to get more eternity points, which means more reality machines, but I could like, wait another day, probably get even more. Now it's up to 227. I need any more reality machines. I don't think... I think I'm good at this point, because this puts me at 248 total, which is crazy. It's enough for the black hole in two of the 50 years and a 30 year. If I wait until 229, which I'm not going to do, I can get the black hole... And then all three of these 50 years. But we're not, we're not doing that. I just, I just want to reality. I kind of want to first just export my save in case anything bad happens. Because, yeah, I just want to go straight into this. So, make a new reality. I, this glyph is by far the best. I know I'm three quarters of the way to a level five glyph. But I don't need a level five glyph. Because the reality machine gain is OP enough. It's now up to 228. <laughs> and, yeah, I think we should just do it at this point instead of um waiting so yeah get this glyph i also actually before doing this i want to no i don't want to start this reality over that would be bad bad thing unequip glyphs on reality so now go to this click this and basically this is the one glyph i want to go throughout the entire next reality because i want to go for some up go for some upgrades so here we go three two one bam so here we go, reality, this, okay, it's not quite gotten old yet, but like, it's starting beco to become more commonplace. I now have 249 reality machines, but of course, I'm just going to do the thing you're all waiting for, which is unleash the black hole. So it's 100 reality machines, and yeah, I'm just going to do a five second countdown for this, because this is the first major mechanic I've unlocked since the series has started. So here we go, five, four, Three, two, one, bam. Oh my god, here we go. So, okay, so what do I do? So, it, well, first of all, there's a neat little animation of the black hole here. I got an achievement, which is unlock the black hole, of course. And then there's basically, so I know a little bit about the black hole, but not much. So it said that, you know, it will, it's, there's an interval and a duration. And I know that the interval starts at an hour, and the duration is like 10 seconds. Um, I can... So it looks like... I, so I can pause the black hole. Or I can unpause it. Right now it's inactive. And... What is this? It is... One, okay, 100% speed. I don't know what this means. Does this mean that... I, I, I don't know what it's saying. Oh, it's is it like when I pause it, I'm just giving a temporary speed penalty okay i see i think <laughs> i i think that's what it's talking about okay next up we're gonna decide our perk which i've already decided auto complete one eternity challenge every 60 minutes because i'm going for some reality upgrades most notably these three and also this one i can actually start working on right now um so let's see we're, we're gonna so there are some black hole upgrades here i was I was thinking, like, man, there's probably needs to be some way to use reality machines between the second and third row upgrades, and I guess here's what it is. It's reduce the inner... So I can reduce the inactive time by 20%. I can make it 35% stronger and extend it by 30%. So we're not... We are not anywhere near that yet, and it's not too expensive, but I feel like getting some of these reality upgrades is a better idea. I think what I think what I'm gonna go for, I definitely want the eternal flow because I hate eternity grinding, and I have yeah I have plenty of these. It's gonna it's gonna give me, well it's not really gonna give me any infinity point. Wait, I, can I actually get time theorems right off the bat? Well actually, okay let let's wait on what we're gonna do here. I'm thinking about getting this hell mechanical process because I don't like having to click all those times and it also improves the eternity auto buyers so 
Okay, first, let's just do infinity. Um, wait, wait, oh, I don't have my glyph. Yeah, I should probably put my glyph here, and, um, yeah, it's basically, it's, it's, yeah, just, just do this, and boom, I just got a whole bunch of achievements right off the bat here. Um, at this point, okay, wait, we can actually check out automation. I'm all the way up to 28 automator points, up from six. This is because... I get two here, ten here, five from the perks, and then five from getting the eternal flow. So eventually I'm going to want to unlock the automator, but we're not quite to that point yet. Speaking of automation, we probably just want to get these. And, and then also I should probably get the infinity upgrades, even though all I'm doing is literally just this. Um, and I'm also getting the eternity milestones. It really doesn't even matter what upgrade I get. Actually, I should probably get the passive infinity point generation. That's the only one that's actually remotely useful at this point. The rest of it is literally just spamming crunch until I can get the no DLC required achievement. And then I can start automating stuff. We can see actually if I can start, but I can start buying time theorems. I can't, I don't have any eternity points though, so I can't actually really do anything with it. It's like I can't have time dimensions, but this is okay at this point. I think at this point I just want to improve my automation, and I can do this by going into the challenges, um, the regular ones, and they're all incredibly easy. I don't, yeah, I, I'm, I'm holding M. Let's just do MC. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just basically what I'm doing. MC and then MC. I'm just getting all these achievements randomly. Even the tick speed auto buyer challenge is no problem because of my absolutely OP multiplier to everything. And then um, I guess just go back into the the this and well, I should probably go into my automation. Get the automatic big crunch going. And I still need to... Actually, I can just do... I don't even need this. I can just hold the C button down because I don't even need to buy anything for th for it to be powerful, which is kind of absurd. Um, the only thing I need to buy is just these to actually unlock Break Infinity. So maybe we can go check out Reality Upgrades again. So, okay, the three things I'm trying to do. Um, first is, this is throughout the entire reality, I'm trying to do Linguistically Expand, which is just, I just need to get E4000 Eternity Points while using only a single glyph, which must be level 3+. Plus. And that is satisfied. The other one is Existentially Prolong, which I need to get my first Eternity, well, Manual Eternity, but I don't think, I don't know. I'm not going to try to use Automated Eternities to get me this one. Um, with at least E4000 Eternity Points, which... Might be a little tricky, but I think once I start getting auto eternity challenge completions, it won't be too bad, I think. And then there's the paradoxical forever, which I already tried to go for and failed. So I think, yeah, at this point, I can just get the rest of these and break infinity. And I don't need to actually have this auto buyer. Yeah, I don't know why there's a whole thing here. I, I literally, I think what, what I do at this point is I just try to um, start spamming the bulk by start getting infinity points which is just a lot here and yeah i can just bulk all of these and i can start going for like achievements such like there's no point in doing that i could turn off my automate automation to get to get the um the 99 eighth dimensions one i'm just doing this so the auto achievements take a little less time the, the ones that actually require some more time I'm not going to go for, like, how the anti-tables have turned. Um, yeah, I can... Have I turned on my automation? Yeah. <laughs> I, I Since I have seven, etern or seven eternities, because the eternity milestones, I don't need to do the infinity challenges, which is crazy. I can... This is insane. This is, like... This is so ridiculously faster than before. I, I'm now just instantly up to E8 infinity points i probably already have infinity dimensions but yeah i already have infinity power 
I should probably just get uh, uh, unlock the max buy auto dimension boost, and now we can get the the five e eleven upgrade, and everything is gonna start inflating. And I barely need to do anything, at least at this point. And I am getting achievements left and right. This is so much faster than new game plus plus plus, and this is without like the black hole doing anything. Like I know this episode is supposed to be the black hole, but it doesn't really feel like that yet because I'm unlocking it. I'm not, I don't have a use for it yet because it's everything else is just so overpowered. So what do I want to do? Like I'm thinking all of these upgrades together cost 45 reality machines. That's just enough to get one of the 50 years thinking the, the telemechanical process because infinities is not a problem. And then buy just one of each of these upgrades. So, I. But the thing is, I don't want to get the telemechanical process until I, I get the paradoxical forever, because I don't I don't want automation for something I'm literally not allowed to use. So, I guess that's what I'm going to do. Well, okay, maybe I can do the black hole upgrades first, because I, I know it's only 180 times faster which turns a second in or it turns three minutes into a second we can do a whole bunch of stuff here so i'm just gonna buy one of each so this is interesting this went from 15 to 53 which is kind of odd this went from 20 to 40 this went from 10 to 40 so four times two times and what like 3.5 times? That's interesting. I also have just enough to get even like this one, but I don't think that's what I really need to do. I think at this point it is okay to be it is now it's now active for 13 seconds. It only needs 48 minutes and it's about um 4 minutes down to 1 second. So that means instead of I, actually, you can compare it to... I was thinking about this. You can compare it to the clock tower in Clash of Clans, which is kind of weird, but it basically like speeds up building times by 10 times for 30 minutes, which, like, it's pretty useful. So, but, like, this is this is kind of like that. Another way you can think of it is, like, golden cookies and clicker... The clicker heroes? Cookie clicker. Um, where it's much stronger boost, but for a little bit of... Only a tiny bit of time. However, 4 times 13 is, if I'm doing my math right, 52 minutes. So, that basically means I get 52 minutes worth of progression, at least for idle areas. And then I have to wait 48 minutes, so it's basically doubling game speed. So anyway, I am basically just going throughout this, getting more infinity points. Don't really even need to do anything other than just like click the button i can i have an automation for this i could just like do x times highest infinity points at let's say e10 turn on the auto buyer and i don't need to i don't need to do i don't need to touch a thing because when i get to e140 infinity points all of these are automated so that means i don't it's it's crazy the black holes also bigger for some reason uh, maybe that's just an animation thing and yeah I'm just getting like a ridiculous amount of achievements and it's gonna be even better especially once I start getting the actual auto eternity challenge completions it will it does take two and a half days and it says real time which means because here's the thing with the black hole it basically speeds up game time at least that's what I know and I the thing is that like you keep you start seeing like differentiation between game time and real time like like reality under five seconds game time and what well, this then there's this play for 13.7 billion years <laughs> like just stuff like that and one of these days look at this there's also apparently a second black hole I'll get because of the reality upgrades but we're not we're not there yet we need. 100 days of, I think, game time, not real time, because that would be a lot of waiting if it was real time. So, I think at this point, the thing is, 
things start slowing down at this point because they start it starts very fast because of how overpowered this glyph actually is but then it just gets slower and slower because because like the 90 90 interdimensional multiplier that just cheeses you everything up to the 5 e11 galaxy upgrade other than that it's actually very similar to last reality so replicanti is still kind of slow this the other glyphs here like i mean the others didn't really start doing anything until like eternity but even that like what what do i i, th I think the only difference is that there's the black hole here and then also, of course, the automatic attorney challenge completion. So this is about what I predicted. I like it'll be extremely fast to begin with, and then it's just gonna start slowing down like rapidly. One thing the black hole could be really, really, really useful for is the um is like for the replicanti sections. Like he says like you know, two hours until infinite replicanti. Well, that will basically get one, get me one hour of the way. It could also be really useful for something like Eternity Challenge 11. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we actually come to it. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.